Hi, this is Dan Gilmartin, part of the Gilmartin Group Real Estate Company in Burlingame, California, October 10th, 2022, with your Monday morning market minute. Okay, single family inventory from South San Francisco to Rubber City right now is 256. That's up slightly from 253 of last week. Last year, this time, the number was 167. 2020, 241. 2019, 213. And the 2018 number was 238. Again, here we are at 256. The average days on market for the current single family homes on the market is 42 which is up by uh, you know we were hovering around 40 so we're up a uh, couple more days there we had 45 homes come on the market last week that number was 40 and we had 28 homes go into contract last week that number was 24 it's half almost half the number we like to see in a weekend week you know weekend week out basis but still 28 uh, homes go in the contract the average days on market for the homes that went into contract is 25 days up slightly from 21 days condominiums right now 147 condominiums townhomes on the market that's down from 160 of last week last year this time the number was 142 2020 200 2019 116 the uh, 2018 number, 90. And the average days on market for the active condominium townhomes on the market right now is 55 and a half days. That is up from 45 days. We had 13 condominiums come on the market. Last week, that number was 17. So even less condominiums came on the market again. And 16 condominiums going to contract. Actually, that's a pretty good number. Better than last week's 20. Mid-teens, high-teens, and hires, obviously a better number, but mid-teens is definitely a very good number. We had 15 homes expire, cancel, a draw from the marketplace, and again and again, <laughs> 46 price reductions. So total, total. From South San Francisco to Rubber City, single family homes and condominiums. Inventory is 403. That is down again uh, last week from 413, but that's two weeks in a row here. We're going down. We're usually, like I've talked about, we usually are starting to test a year to date peak high inventory. As a matter of fact, the last couple of years, this was the week where we hit a peak inventory and then started going back down towards the end of the year. But here we are at 403 going down. If this continues, very interesting, starting off the 2023, uh, uh, market with very, very low inventory. So that's obviously what, what we're watching. Last year, this time, that number was 309, 2020, 441, 2019, 329, and the 2018 number, 328. So here we are at 403. So where are we? Hey, macro uh, number on inventory, very normal, very doable, right? The homes that are pricing correctly, meaning the new market versus the old market, they're actually selling quite fast. Um, you know, interest rates are clearly up. So if you're thinking of buying a home and you're saying to yourself, but I think prices are gonna come down, inventory is gonna is continue to go down. We're, we're gonna start holding steady, I believe, on the, on the new prices that we found, the new market price. So, where does that leave? Do you think interest rates are going to go up even more? If so, if you're in that camp, I say right now is a great time to buy, especially because there is confusion and in confusion lies opportunity. Now can be a very good time to buy that home that you've been looking for, especially if it's the one, you know, that, that street, that house that you've been looking for. And again, if you're going to stay in that home for seven, 10 plus years at the, at the end of the day and the long run, it was going to be a good decision. And as interest rates probably go up, they're probably they're going to come back down. When that happens, you refinance and get into a new lower rate. So now could be a very good time. Sellers, if you're thinking of selling your home, inventory, it's happening. You just got to do the right thing. You got to put the right price on there, the new price. You can create multiple offers. We can do that for you. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. And I'll talk to you next week. Mm -hmm.